everybody, it's Simon Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I didn't do a what did I get last week. That wasn't because I didn't get anything. It was because it wasn't really enough to put in its own video. And I receive quite a lot of stuff now coming through my craft room table. And I can't always share everything straight away because some of it's kind of like a new release or we might be working on some samples or it might be for a magazine. So I have to kind of be careful what I share and when I share it. But I can share these things with you now. So last week I did get these but um, it was just this and I just thought it wasn't really, you know, not, not worth putting in its own video, but it just would have been very short, so I'd rather have waited. So this is the Lawn Fawn. This is just some of the lovely Halloween stamps and dies that they've done. And I really wanted to create this little, this one here is your fortune teller, but it's a little cat. It's so sweet. And um, basically you can turn this wheel that I'm gonna make up. You've got the die there to cut it. And you can see, you can pretend to make a wish or ask the crystal ball what it is, you know, that's happening. And they will say, I predict your day will be. And then you can have really bright, super duper, filled with smiles, very happy. And you've got lots of other little bits and pieces there as well. It's just really, really fun. I love these kind of quirky kinetic cards and um, yeah I just thought this would be a nice one to play around with and also that doesn't have to be Halloween so although Lawn Fawn have been pushing this a lot I've been following them for Halloween you can certainly change the colours of this and turn it into a card that can be used all year round so that one I really really loved and then I wanted to get the haunted house so these are all the elements for the haunted house this one here is I think that's actually oh no that's for the haunted house as well so this is a little ghost and you've got the cat, you've got the little um, like glasses there. There's also, I need to play around, little bats. And then it's for these bits here. So you have the little spider and that will cut that out. It's so detailed. I mean, these are dinky stamps, but once you do it all together, it, it just looks brilliant. And this one here, turn here to spook. So that's gonna work, you know, with all these kind of bits. I need to play around, but yeah, I'm looking forward to playing with that. So those were the lawn fawn pieces that I got. And then I have this wonderful new Christmas release by Daisy May Designs. Now, I haven't really said anything about this because I've known for a while now, but I wanted to wait until Craft Stash kind of announced it on their platform, but I am now on their design team. So I've been collaborating them collaborating with them for quite a few months now and you would have seen me share lots and lots of product so it's been really nice to have been approached by them to ask to join the team so yeah so nothing changes you will see me doing exactly the same as what I already do which is great I still get to choose product but I also get to work with product that I really really love so you would have seen me use Daisy May Designs before I joined the design team so it's really nice that I got to choose this that I could you know they give you the option of things that you would like to work with so I grabbed this product here so <laughs> If you're not familiar with Daisy May Designs, check out the links below. She's an absolutely amazing illustrator, does the most adorable um, pictures and has turned them into stamps and dies. So I have, I'll go through these ones quickly here. So these are just your distressed rectangle die set and this is the distressed square die set. I do have the circles, which are, I don't know if they're classed as distressed, but they, I think they're very similar. So I can put them all together now and I'm probably going to incorporate it with this as well. They're just huge dies. So this is your card blank. This is your six by six card blank here. And this here I think is your five by seven. Yeah, which again, they're both my favorite size cards. So I can create lovely shaped, um, you know, outer sides there for the cards. And the same with this one here. And I thought this is gonna look lovely to turn into some kind of maybe like a bit of a, a mini album, like but quite a distressed old looking one because you get all these little like kind of rips that are kind of in the die there. So it just, uh, you tea stain some paper or some cardstock or just distress it. I think that's going to look lovely. So they'll be used in lots of things. But then you also get all of these dies. So let me just make sure I've got them right. So this one here is the Perfect Pincetta stamps. So here you have this lovely cluster here and that's the die to cut it. And then this one here got the bow and then you've got the plant pot and I've got a really nice idea for a card for this one here and um, I just think they're lovely and actually um, Claire who is the designer she shared a really nice card the other day using this one so yeah it's just so pretty and then we've got these here so let me just pop that to one side so I've got let's make sure I get all these right so there we go so this one here is happy Christmas wreath stamps and it's it's not until you look really closely 
but you can see all these lovely little images. So she's got the cute little gingerbread men, then you've got like little Christmas mittens, you've got a Christmas hat and scarf, you've got some like a hot chocolate there with a candy cane, and then it repeats again around. But once that's coloured, that's going to look so sweet. And then you've got all those elements again that she's done in separate stamps. Snowflake Kisses and Christmas Wishes, but they are all separate stamps, so you can obviously do whatever you want there. You could have the Happy Christmas in the middle, or you could have the Merry and Bright. And then you've got the dies to cut all of them out, including the sentiments. And I just love it. Absolutely adore it. So I can't wait to make a card with that one. Then this one, oh, let's do this one here. So this is the snowman and the teacup die set. And the thing that's so great about this is he's like a marshmallow snowman and he sits on the top of the, the cup there. It, brilliant. It's just such a fun, cute little set. Again, I can't wait to colour him in. But you can also have the option to have a little kind of cream topping on your, on your hot chocolate there. You've got warm and cosy wishes and it's snow cute. You could have lots of candy canes coming out of it. Really, really lovely and just very easy to colour as well. So yeah, I look forward to doing those ones. And then this one here, which is the Red Robin, the Red Red Robin stamps. Uh, so it's got Have a Jolly Christmas. You've got your very cute little Robin there. And then he's got this like twig with the holly and the berries that you can perch him on. And you've got little separate holly leaves there and separate berries and then Merry Christmas and again, it will die cut it. Even those tiny little berries, you've got dies for that one as well. So that's that. And then this one I think is brilliant. Just really like the style of it. It's very different. Just the, the Christmas tree there with just like this, you know, the the um, horizontal twigs. You've got this nice decorative piece here. You've got the pot for the tree to go in. Tis the season to be jolly. You've got all these little extras and then there. I love that banner and it's all stitched. So I think that's going to look really, really nice. So yeah, there's that one. And then this one here is Sleepy Owl Stamps. And you can decoupage the hat, I'm guessing, and the scarf with this because she's stamped them separate. So, and they would be easy to cut. I'm not sure if there is a die. I would have thought there was a die to go with this. So maybe there was a delay with that one or it just wasn't there or it isn't. So yeah, Claire Rowlands. So um, again, I'll share all the links below, but this one says, have a hoot of a Christmas and jingle bells and then wishing you a peaceful Christmas. So yeah, so that is the new Christmas release by Daisy May Designs. I will have some lovely cards that I will be sharing with you very soon. I think by the time this video goes out, they would have already been done actually. So look out for those. And then I've got the latest issue of Papercraft Essentials. So this is issue 180 and those of you that follow me on social media on my Facebook page would have seen my excitement with this one because this is my wreath on the front. So I was so so pleased to see my featured project in obviously in the magazine but also on the front cover. So yeah it's, this is lovely. It's This is quite a bigger one. I think it's bigger than the ones that I've done on my YouTube channel but inside you will have all the instructions and the measurements to make that one there but it's gorgeous for just bringing up a bit close so you can see all the detail all made out of different size rosettes. And I also done a piece for trim craft as well which was to show off the new Wild Wishes, um, sorry Wild Winter um, by Paper Addicts. And I've done these cards here just for inspiration. Really, really lovely. I've shared this in my um, What Did I Get? Or What's in the Box, I think it was. I've got that one there. This one I really like. I'm going to probably redo that one again. These are, t these are like small little dies, but I just die cut them a few times and then layered up the colour. You've got that one and that one and that one. This one's really nice where I've like ripped all the paper just to give you like different kind of layers. That looks nice. And you've got that more simple panelled kind of style and then this one where I coloured the car I really like those ones so yeah that was a nice spread as well and um, just show you there's the wreath again I love it on the door I thought that looked really nice get the glare off there there we go so yes yeah, so that was the paper craft essentials but the other thing about this is I always love to show off the free gift because this on its own I mean this magazine retails at 6 99 you would pay 6 99 if not more, for this on its own. This is a card stock. It's really, really nice. 79 die cut elements. You get 10 topper sheets. You get five foiled card stocks. And you get 20 printed card stock. And it's called the Luscious Baubles. Now, if you're a fan of foiling and 
I guess, um, mirrored frames for silver and gold and all those kind of things. If you like hunky-dory as well, then you are going to love this because you have so much in this pack. I can't believe it. I'm actually, I don't know if I'm, because I have so much stuff going on at the moment and I've got other cards that I'm obviously in the process of making, but I think I might actually give this as a gift because it's so nice. You've got Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. One, two, so you get three... You get three of each sheet. So there's three of them. I love this one. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Just love the, the colours. Those like mauves and purples. You've got, again, three of this one here. Nice big toppers. So if you want some quick cards, or if you, you know, again, you're doing some Christmas fairs and things like that, these are great. Three of that one. Look at that one. The Joy. It's really nice. And it's not a, um, it's more of a, it's more of a matte foiling rather than a real kind of um, yellowy gold, really shiny. I think it's, I don't know, it's more my kind of style because some of them are, are a bit too gold for me, but this is just lovely. So you've got three, again, of that one. Then you've got this one here, and you've got one of that one because it's just all kinds of different little sentiments and tags, toppers and, things and so on. And then you go into the papers, but look at this. So it's all foiled. You've got these sprigs all around there. You've got this one here, which has foiling on the sides. This beautiful one with all the bows. And this one has got snowflakes. This is one of my favourites. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I bring it up. It's like a, it's like a sage green that runs through the middle. And then you've got this gorgeous pattern. Absolutely stunning. So that's that one. And then you've got your baubles, which is the same... Yeah, it's kind of, I mean, it all runs throughout all the patterns, but you get two of that one. I love that one. Two of that. Two of the other baubles there. Then you've got those ones, so just much smaller. Then you've got the mistletoe and the bows. Again, two of those. More snowflakes. These are your background papers. That one there. This one, that's really nice. Again, you get two of those of that one and that's it but I, I honestly think that is such good value for money there is so much in there it's really well made it's good quality it's not thin it's a nice substantial pack so yeah I'm I'm kind of in two minds with this one I might um I might even donate this one for just it is it's lovely it's really really nice so but yeah well worth the money so that is the latest papercraft essentials Okay, so I have received the Simply Made Crafts Christmas release. Uh, there's some really lovely things here. Now, it was a little bit kind of, I guess, a little bit out of my comfort zone in a way because Helen, who designs the Simply Made Crafts, hers is a lot of kind of boxes and things like that, and I don't use dies. You will have never, ever seen me use a die to make a gift bag or a gift box. I don't do it. But there is a huge market there, and there is a place for it because we all have different, you know, ways of crafting. And I they are lovely they're really really nice so it was a little bit strange for me to yeah not do any scoring so it was really strange to not have my scoreboard out and not actually cut things and, and all that kind of thing but I'm going to show you some really nice things anyway but one of my favorites out of everything is this one here and this is the ultimate poncetta die set and it's just I think for me it's the fact it's so big and I think when you see what I've made with this one I think you're going to really like it but just look how big these leaves are they are really nice so you sit them over the top something like that and then you would layer up again and you would layer up again and I'll show you a flower in a second and then you've got your sprigs and you've got your centre little stamens there as well really do love this one and to give you some inspiration for how it looks I will be sharing a tutorial on how I made this very soon. It's lots of fun and it's very easy, but just look how big and how lovely these flowers look. I've distressed them, I've added some ink to them just to give them a bit more depth. And I just, I think they've turned out beautiful. Love my big bow there. And then the basket that it's set in is using, we'll go through that one in a minute, but it's using this one here. So this is the hexagon hamper and gift box die set. Now you don't have to do the hexagon, you also can do a square. So it's entirely up to you. But again, just to give you an idea of kind of the sizes you're working with, that's your base die. And then you've got like a matte one there to pop with it. And then 
these are your side pieces so you just die cut you know well if you're doing the hexagon then you need to die cut six of them but if you want to do a square then you just do four and you can see there how it looks once you add your detail panel you don't have to that's obviously optional but it's it's just so nice and this is all part of it as well not the squares i done the top white one is actually and the with love but i i done the red just little border there on my own and yeah i've just attached it all and i just think that's such a lovely little gift especially if you're going to visit someone in hospital at christmas i think this would make a lovely gift but also a nice centerpiece you don't have to have this again it is just attached inside on some oasis so you can reposition it but it's just beautiful really did enjoy making that one so yeah highly highly recommend that poinsettia because you can do them in different colors so you know even after christmas you could do some lovely you know yellow ones and just change it slightly and you can they obviously look really nice in white as well then i've got this one here which was another one that was nice to use so this is the ultimate cracker die set again very strange for me to use a die to do all this because usually i do it all by hand but i just think it is really nice i love all the little extras that she's done with this one and to show you how this looks i've made this cracker here and again i've used the poncetta in the center and i've just put some gold wax gilding wax there on the actual poncetta itself and you can see the sprigs a little bit clearer here finished it with this lovely gold ribbon and you die cut these twice and then you attach them in the center and then these are your decorative wraps so you can see there the detail that this creates lots of different things you can do with this i will be looking at i guess out of the box uses for this and not just to create a cracker i'm sure there will be some other things that we can do with it as well but it's really really pretty you don't have to have it that long you can have it shorter and um, there's lots and lots of room inside there for you to be able to fill it with some nice treats so yeah i thought it was really nice and inside i've just used some gold mirrored card there and just layered up the stamens just to create a little bit more texture and yeah just think it looks really really nice so that's that one um, then I've got this one here which is the ultimate gift bow die set and this will create this here so it's a lovely big bow top and I have done this using thick mirrored cardstock but I think it looks really really nice and inside I've got a little gemstone I've done the little bits here just think it looks really nice just pop that on top of any kind of gift or if you're giving like a bike to someone for christmas you know you can pop that on the the kind of the seat or something you could yeah do it on all sorts especially those bigger gifts that you can't always wrap it's nice to put a big bow on them i think this is lovely and you can do it just smaller as well you don't have to layer up all of them i've done all of them together but you also get these pieces here which is kind of like your um the spiral you know the pieces of like ribbon so that would be those and you've got other little bases as well you've got the snowflake you've got the center there so yeah it's a really nice one very big you do need an a4 cutting machine to cut these ones because they are the width so you can see there and i guess you could die cut like that as well that might give you a different look again because then you could have this frame so that's something i've not tried so i'm sure there's lots more that you can do with this but yeah that is the bow and then i've got these two here so i haven't done samples for these ones yet so i will get around to that and share them in due course but this is the gift card box and exploding presents die set that's a mouthful now i have done one of these before i've shared one um, a couple of years ago on my channel but now there is this die that will do it for you as well so yeah i'm interested to see how this is all going to come together and um, love of the little gingerbread man the holly that's cute and then you've got these dies here a little something which you don't have to use in this you can use these on cards and all sorts that's good though what's inside because that would work on lots of different things whether it be a gift bag or a gift box you can use that on um, yeah lots of projects so that's that one and then this one here is the small ornate milk box die set so that's really nice and the good thing about this is these ones these dies here so you've got the door and the windows and again you can use those in lots of other projects let me just show you the size so this is a very big one here so again it's an a4 die machine would be needed you've got all your bits in there you would need let me just show you those will go through normal die machine but that that. I think it's just those two that's a4 because i believe let me just take this one out so you can see no this one is a4 as well yeah yeah that's the size of that plate there to do the cracker so the three of those you would need a4 
but if you don't have a A4 machine then these ones will still work as will lots of um, other dies within the collection as well because there's lots on there now but those yeah no they're all fine even that largest one there that's not any bigger than six let me just quickly double check no that one will go through fine so yeah so that is I believe the Christmas one there might be some more that may have still been coming from the the manufacturers and stuff but that's what I was sent there in fact no I think there is a bit more because I did choose these ones from a list so there must have been more on there as well but again all the links will be shared below so do go and check them out and look out for the tutorials so I look forward to making that lovely basket of flowers I think that's so sweet okay so that is what I can share with you this week and what I've received so absolutely love it cannot wait to um, share the projects that I've done with those and I'm going to make a couple of fun cards with the lawn fawn and this is just brilliant really really do highly recommend that one I don't think you'll be disappointed so thank you for watching as always and I'll be back again tomorrow with another tutorial see you soon bye